in the first match booked three of the central defenders and awarded a penalty against the fourth, Martin Buchan, which Liverpool missed. Nearest us is Jimmy Greenoff, who scored the winning goal in the FA Cup final two years ago when Manchester United beat Liverpool at Wembley. So Manchester United wearing white shirts, black shorts, playing from the left in the first half. Liverpool in all yellow, the colours the same as at Main Road. A greasy top to the pitch. There's been plenty of rain here these last two hours. Ray Kennedy for Liverpool to highway. Already fouled by Jimmy Nicholl, the man who may have to mark him tonight. Jimmy Nicholl playing with stitches in his eye, by the way. An injury sustained on Saturday. Sooners for Liverpool. Liverpool beaten only once in nine semi-finals of all kinds in the 1970s. That was in the old Fairs Cup by Leeds in 1971. But they've won the other eight. And that's the sort of record that Manchester United are up against tonight. Captained by Martin Buchan. Jordan makes the run. Hansen the challenge. Johnson up with McQueen, that was Sooners, blocked by McElroy. McDermott to Neil. well be argued these are the two most famous clubs in the country and the crowd certainly believe they are <laughs> headed by McDermott then by McQueen Dalgleish on the chest Thomas who's gone down, I think there was an elbow in there. Looked like an elbow to me anyway. Thomas certainly felt the effects of that uh, nudge from Kenny Dalgleish. Thompson takes the kick. Kennedy. Hughes offside. Thomas usually sticks to the left. He's a left-sided player. Here's Dalgleish. David Johnson trying to turn. Neil. Liverpool build-up. Spoiled by McElroy. And Jimmy Greenoff was looking to see if he was offside. Jimmy Greenoff, whose record in cup ties is so good in front of goal. offside on that occasion 
Johnson. Oh, given away to Greenough. Thomas looks for Jordan. Jordan being marked by Hansen, a fellow Scott. But a good ball from Jordan to McElroy. Koppel is to his right, so is Makari. Here's Lou Makari. Good save, Clements. Here's Jordan. McElroy. And Ray Clements saves Liverpool. A fine break. The ball played inside by Joe Jordan. Lou Makari came through onto the pass and Clements made a fine save. Jordan and McElroy involved in the build-up. And McElroy also had the final shot as well. So the first clear chance goes to Manchester United. And it fell to the player who has just come into this cup tie, Lou Makari. The ball is bound to skid a little bit on this surface because it's very wet. Dalgleish. Oh, given to him by Buchan. Orbiston's there. Jordan and Hansen. Neil for Liverpool. The referee just pulls the play back. There was a flag up. So already a hint of the defensive mistakes which littered the first match at Main Road and made it so exciting. Dalgleish headed that on. Jimmy Greenoff, look how he killed that. Beautiful. Koppel. Challenged by Hansen, but still Koppel. Manchester United taking the game to Liverpool. Jimmy Nicholl with the throw. Popple. That's a goal kick. This is Manchester United's 15th semi-final in the FA Cup and Liverpool's 12th. Thomas for United. Looking for Jordan on the far side. This is Neil. McDermott number 10. Little flick. Dalglish. Johnson. Neil continued his run. Number two. In the semi-final replay two years ago, when Liverpool played Everton, Paul Neil scored from a penalty their first goal but he's handed over the job now to McDermott who missed that kick from the spot on Saturday but tells me that he McDermott keeps the job tonight Ray Kennedy's header now Nickel Hansen Kennedy Makari one for Jordan to chase oh it's come to him as well Jordan, brilliant again, Koppel, oh, and Clements, what a save, a double save this time, and no wonder he shouts, because the defence lets him down again, mistake by Thompson, in goes Jordan, Clements is there the first time, and again at Koppel's feet the second. It didn't fall to Jordan on his favoured left foot, but Manchester United now have missed two good chances, but they know that they've been defied by Clements. Here's Neil. Dalgleish. Oh, look at the turn. Dalgleish's cross. Sunas. 
offside flag is up. That's very interesting that the offside flag was up by the linesman, but the referee saw a foul prior to that and has given the free kick the other way. There was some pushing just as the linesman flagged for an offside. So Liverpool have the free kick, spotted by referee Richardson. Four in the wall for Gary Bailey. Well, the ground buzzing already with those two Manchester United attacks. But here are Liverpool now. Dalgleish. Very much in the running one would feel now for the treasured Football Rises Award of the Player of the Year. Kenny Dalgleish bending the free kick round the end of the wall and not very far away. It's Phil Neal's header. The Queen's attempted clearance. McDermott. This time the Queen gets it right. Hansen there this time above Jordan. Dalgleish. Ray Kennedy. Dalgleish all over the place. Look at the pass to Highway. Four in the middle for Liverpool. It's going to go right across to McDermott. Jimmy Nicol away, Ray Kennedy, and Nicol again. Jordan appeals for a foul. Referee had a word with Jordan, who felt he was impeded there by Hansen. And that's going to be quite a collision between the two tall Scottish players, Joe Jordan, number nine, for Manchester United. Kennedy and Macari has kicked the ball away rather stupidly and got the yellow card Lou Macari booked for descent Just like Saturday, a pulsating start. Here's Macari. Lovely ball to Koppel. Two to his left. Thomas. Greenock's there as well. Now Thomas. Orbiston. No. Thomas trying to find Orbiston, but he got too excited. But again, Manchester United had players to spare against the strangely nervous Liverpool defence. The back four don't seem very settled in front of Clements. And he's aware of that. He's had to be. On by Dalgleish. Nicolin passed on highway. him in the cup final two years ago very successfully Jimmy Nicol Dalgleish Popper struck Kennedy now it's highway good cross McDermott's on the end of this Sunes good save by Bailey Sunes struck it well but Bailey held on where many might have fumbled it the cross comes from highway, delivered to the far post beyond it. McDermott turns it back, Sooner strikes, and Bailey hangs on. Hansen's header. Jordan. Typical Liverpool, Sooner's now back in defence.
McElroy. That's David Johnson. He's out of play before Highway reached it. So 15 minutes gone, and it could so easily have been Manchester United 2, Liverpool 1. As it is, it's 0-0. Popper. Green off. Free kick to Manchester United. Gordon McQueen has gone across to the far side to join Joe Jordan. Here they come now. McQueen got up there. McElroy. Oh, and Ray Clements for once was out of his ground. And Manchester United couldn't get it in. Clements came to meet the cross. In goes McQueen, beats the goalkeeper with the header. Jimmy Greenoff hoping to pounce, so is McElroy. And Liverpool, with McQueen lofting it too high, survive again. Good start here by Manchester United. Three chances they've created already. But here's Kennedy for Liverpool. Dalglish, lovely skill. And again. Bakari. This is Buchan. Again, lovely running up front by four Manchester United players, all searching for positions. There's Jordan. Free kick against Phil Neal. Thompson and Neal going in together on Jordan. Thomas. Orbiston. Driven low. Jimmy Green off. Nice flick on. And again, Jimmy Greenoff. It's a Liverpool throw. Thomas. McDermott's tackle. The referee is giving a throw in, in fact. Here's Greenoff. Thomas. All sorts of trickery from Manchester United and Liverpool having to defend in numbers. McQueen. Look at that row of white shirts up there still. Greenoff. On by McElroy. on the right three players up with him Johnson, Dalglish and Highway Ray Kennedy's there as well here's Souness what a drive by Graham Souness who's been so unlucky in this semi-final twice on Saturday he beat the goalkeeper and had shots cleared off the line by Buchan he's had two tonight and that second one it just sizzled past the post header, here's Greenoff Highway on the run, Buchan is covering Dalglish making strides in the centre Johnson's there as well so is McDermott away by Nickel.
Arrow being left for Highway to find Hughes. Oh, Johnson's got up there and bucking away, but there was a foul, I think, on the goalkeeper. Gary Bailey, only 20. David Johnson, the challenger there. But Gary, Gary Bailey, the young goalkeeper, under pressure there from Johnson, but his father, Roy Bailey, the old Ipswich goalkeeper, now coaching in South Africa. Listen to the score, the progress score, from the bush on Saturday afternoon where he was coaching, and he heard that United were leading 2-1 and thought his son was going to play at Wembley. And then later on, back in Johannesburg, he heard it was 2-2. Ray Kennedy. Here he is again. There's so much good movement in this match. Johnson to highway. On the far post, McDermott calling. Dalgleish. Ray Kennedy. That's for McDermott. And it got there. Sunas. And now Phil Neal goes forward. Neal's cross. Johnson in there again with Bailey. And Bailey again is uh, protesting. In fact, uh, forcibly had to be restrained by Martin Buchan. David Johnson has twice gone in now on the goalkeeper. And each time the referee has said that it was a foul. to Manchester United. So again, McQueen and Jordan to aim at on the far side of the penalty area and Clements was caught out last time. Koppel takes it. Jordan. McElroy. Graham Soon is doing well. Look at the pass, Johnson. Martin Buchan with the challenge. On by Jordan, having a good match so far, Joe Jordan. Neil Thomas in the way. Well, to think they used to say that semi-finals were dull, predictable affairs. This one's been anything but that. Throw into Manchester United. Cross bent in and well cut out by Ray Kennedy. That's a corner to Manchester United. McElroy placing it carefully. Jordan against the bar. Joe Jordan so close to scoring for the second match running. The Liverpool player headed it back across. Jordan got in above Hemlin Hughes and it hit the crossbar. And meantime, Jordan having challenged Ray Clements. It's just called back by the referee. But Manchester United now have been clean through twice. They've missed one good chance in the six-yard box and hit the bar. But although United have made the chances, you can take nothing for granted where Liverpool are concerned. Here's Johnson. Neil. Jordan with the tackle. And Clements this time. <laughs> well, there's no uh, ill feeling there between those two. McDermott. On for Johnson.
Neil. Sooners. Manchester United well aware that Liverpool are experts in letting teams come at them, trying all they know and yet somehow often failing to score, only for Liverpool to come out and take control. I wonder if that's going to happen here, or can Manchester United make even more chances? Hansen. Makari is again pulled up for fouling Ray Kennedy. Already booked for the previous descent, Lou Makari. Ray Kennedy playing on the left-hand side of Liverpool midfield is being marked by Makari, who's playing on the right-hand side for Manchester United. Hansen tried to get past Jordan, but I think he was doing some shoving. Alan Hansen, who made this replay necessary by equalising just seven minutes from the end of the first meeting. Phil Thompson tangling with Joe Jordan, and it's Jordan who's penalised. I think his shirt's already been slightly ripped, Joe Jordan, in one of those tussles with Phil Neal. That was Ray Kennedy. It was Nickel. Sooners. Well, 55,000 people was the limit imposed on Goodison Park for this tie, but those who haven't got tickets, many of them outside, disappointed, will already be sensing by the noise coming from inside the ground that the match is living up to expectations. Jordan, good header, Hansen covering. That was Dalgleish looking for McDermott. penalising Phil Neal, so a free kick to Manchester United. Jordan up there again, but Hansen was there too. Here's Koppel. It's a Manchester United throw. Well, if they don't score, United will look back on this first half hour with some regret. Nickel. Hughes. Emlyn Hughes didn't play when Liverpool lost on this ground to Everton earlier in the season in the league, 1-0. Jimmy Greenall. Jimmy Greenoff made both the Manchester goals on Saturday. First one uh, for Jordan, which Bob Paisley wasn't very pleased about defensively. He won't be very pleased defensively tonight either up to now, apart from his goalkeeper. It's McQueen. Soon as Dalgleish, McDermott, Dalgleish has made a run forward, there he is with Buchan, held him off, typical Dalgleish that was, and almost putting Buchan in the position where Buchan had a harsh penalty given against him on Saturday as Dalgleish shields the ball here from the defender, makes it awkward for him and then whips in a first time shot. Here's Makari. 
Orbiston. Makari running again, and Thompson across. Everybody bar Dalgleish was back defending there for Liverpool. Here they come out now. Thompson. As you can see, there was nobody upfield. Half an hour gone, no score, but Manchester United know full well that on chances created, they should be in the lead. Ray Kennedy, Dalgleish. Souness, David Johnson on the run. support for Manchester United so far louder than that for Liverpool which reflects the way the game has gone Makari just slipping on this greasy top that's McElroy right across and behind by Neil McElroy whipped that cross in so quickly that no Manchester United player was far enough forward to take advantage so now, a corner. <laughs> oh, and Clements holding on ever so well. Gordon McQueen was breathing down the goalkeeper's neck. And here come Liverpool again. Johnson wasn't played right for McDermott. But he got there inadvertently. Here's Johnson again. Feels for handball. Off McQueen's foot. And the referee has given the free kick against Johnson. Handball. Dave Sexton, the Manchester United manager, second from the right as we look, and on the end, a very animated Tommy Kavanagh. Jordan and Hansen again. Then Kennedy and Makari. Free kick against Makari, who's getting the worst of the decisions and not liking it. I remember seeing Liverpool play at South End and back in the third round when they defended for long periods and got a draw. And I saw them at Ipswich in the sixth round when they again took some punishment and didn't concede a goal. And here they are with Manchester United having made three good chances against them. But still we wait for the first goal in this FA Cup semi-final replay. Free kick to Manchester United and Jordan putting himself about in true fashion. McElroy goes in. Now here's Souness. Alberston. Jordan is all over the place. Lifted his foot rather there too. This is Ray Kennedy. Hughes. Just got it through, but it's tight for Liverpool. playing very well Manchester United in seizing the midfield and getting forward at every opportunity Gordon McQueen felt the effects of the challenge on Johnson Neil. Kennedy hit the bar and away by Buchan. Well, that's one against the woodwork now at either end, offside this time, McDermott. Well, Neil got the cross in and watch Ray Kennedy, number five.
he comes from a deep position unseen the header smacks against the crossbar just as Jordan's did at the other end and again the rebound was clear is singing with 10 minutes left in the first half well talk about excitement this semi-final beautifully balanced Makari Popple here comes Nickel the know-how of Emlyn Hughes just span away from Dalglish. Well, it's no place for faint-hearted supporters Goodison Park tonight. I even heard of some fans who wouldn't come to the replay because they still hadn't recovered from watching the first match. <laughs> Here's Ray Kennedy. Johnson closing in on the far side and Orbiston across with the header giving Liverpool a corner which I think is their first of the match we shall see Alan Hansen come forward for this Stel Gleish going in close Hughes this is Ray Kennedy Sunas McDermott, Hansen still in there offside flag is up covering covering in fact for Hughes who'd been beaten by Koppel so again a throw in to Manchester United who make ground side oh what a good header out that was by Hansen and it's put uh, McDermott in stride with David Johnson to his right and Dalglish to his left there's Dalglish there's Johnson Dalglish going in low fine move by Liverpool beautifully built and so quick as well the play move there a tremendous pace. Johnson on the far side pulled the cross back from the dead ball line and Dalgleish dived to meet it. McDermott, Liverpool more measured now. Sunes. Thompson came right through. Free kick. Well, these spectators like the players finding it hard to catch their breath McQueen takes the kick Jordan's header then Neil then McDermott then Johnson that was McElroy this is Dalgleish Sunis Dalgleish again. Ray Kennedy running through the centre. That's Johnson. And that was McElroy. Good defending.
free kick against McQueen for the foul on Johnson. Here's Neil. He made his Liverpool debut on this ground, Phil Neil, in a Merseyside derby against Everton. And the score that day was nil-nil, if I remember rightly. And that's what the score is here. In the semi-final replay between Liverpool and Manchester United. With five minutes to go to half-time. Hopple. Nickel, Jordan, good one-touch football again. Popple, Greenoff. Popple wants the return play through. Flags up now. Then there was a player offside, but I think a handball by Neil. The referee says that the free kick goes to Manchester United. Phil Thompson thought he might get away with that because Steve Coppel had that ball been allowed to go through, may well have been given offside. The flag was up. And in fact, the referee has now realised why the linesman flagged. Look at Koppel in the middle of the picture there. He's offside. Never mind the handball by Neil. The offside happened first when the ball was played. So it's a free kick to Liverpool. Kennedy. Greenoff. Jordan chasing Hansen. Jordan so fast and Hansen had to be with him every stride. It's McQueen. Neil Sooners. Manchester United biting so fast into the tackle, particularly in the midfield. Sooners given no time by McElroy to develop his game in that area. One of the reasons why United have played so well against Liverpool in these two matches. McElroy's performance in the midfield. That was uh, Nickel. Popper took a heavy one there, but uh, referee played an advantage, which didn't quite work out for him. Ray Kennedy. Highway. Little deflection on that. Johnson's coming in. His Sooness! <laughs> Liverpool have gone 17 games without defeat before this match. Manchester United have lost only one in their last 12. Two teams in form. <laughs> Dalglish in Bucken. Free kicks gone in Dalglish's favour. On a couple of minutes left in a first half which has just been non-stop excitement. Just a moment's breathing space as uh, Liverpool prepare to take the free kick. Thompson flags up for an offside I think. contingent of thinking watching this Makari tried to go through them all here's McQueen Thomas Neil for Liverpool into the last minute of the first half McDermott, Johnson, Sooners in the centre waiting. This is McDermott and Makari. I think got hurt as he went in there. 
certainly hobbling, but the play goes on. McDermott for Liverpool, appeals for offside, he wasn't though. Dalgleish is in there with the header, away by McElroy. Now Joe Jordan from Greenock's flick, tried to return the compliment, and Phil Neal stole it instead. And meantime, as Buchan chases back with Dalgleish, an incident off the ball involving, I think, Joe Jordan. Jordan walking away from McDermott now, but certainly there was a clash there when the ball had gone. McDermott is the Liverpool player on the deck. The referee is going to ask the linesman what he saw there. Just watch Joe Jordan, number nine, as McDermott plays the ball. The ball goes, and look at Jordan. Something happened there with the elbow, and McDermott went down. Referee, I think, will want to talk to Jordan about it. Having checked with the linesman, and it's the yellow card for Joe Jordan. I think he may have left the foot there as well, Jordan, when he saw that McDermott was about to release the ball. It happened very quickly. Jimmy Greenoff perhaps thinking that Jordan is a little unlucky, but he does tend to get involved in that sort of challenge, and he's cautioned for it. So now we have two players booked tonight, both from Manchester United, Makari and Jordan. case of yellow hats tonight for the Liverpool fans because uh, they have to distinguish themselves of course from the enemy both teams normally wear red so the paper hats have come out in force the yellow hats being worn by Liverpool at that end of the ground and in the yellow shirt Terry McDermott limps back into action Jordan's header Greenoff Time added on now for stoppages in the first half. Thomas, Orbiston, McElroy. And the referee blows for half time and gives the players and the crowd a breather from a match which has lived up to all that was expected of it. All right, there were no. They gave us football and the biggest cup of them all, the FA Cup. Now we will give the cup to the viewers of Viasat. Discover or rediscover all the golden moments of the FA Cup finals from the Church of Football, Wembley. Oh, yes. Every Sunday at 2200 on Viasat Sport 3. NASCAR, the world's most daring...